I'm Dr. John Stewart and I'm going to demonstrate uh, transcerebral magnetic stimulation using this uh, generator and the transducer applicator upon which you place, uh, into which you place your head and an external generator for more precise triggering. So let's turn this on and uh, we'll hear uh, single pulses the, the energy sufficient, very powerful, sufficient to light an LED uh, with a coil, a small coil, and no battery, no amplifier right out to here. Uh, likewise, um, a coil with uh, a neon light, standard green neon light, right out to here, which is uh, certainly deep enough to go into most organs and the brain. So instead of the neon, uh, if I use a fluorescent tube, Just simply a coil, a tube, no amplifier. The high voltage in the coil picking up the magnetic field creates enough voltage, a few hundred volts, to drive this fluorescent light. So this is a coil acting as the secondary of a transformer, like a Tesla transformer. So the extent of this in this mode uh, e with no amplification is way out to about five or six inches. Now if we use a more sensitive uh, transducer with an amplifier, an operational amplifier, we get additional stimulation, the light. A, a better one is uh, another one that we made uh, myself. So the field extends quite far. Let me put it in this direction so that it's aligned with the, This actually, there's a field going way out over 12 inches, even at at high frequency. We're pulsing it now with the internal oscillator right up to 50 hertz. That is 50 hertz, way out to almost two feet. So the, the intensity is quite considerable two feet away from the coil, the transmitting coil, we're getting a powerful magnetic field. And that uh, maximum is 50 hertz with the internal generator. Now with an external generator, we can, let's put that in, we'll turn the switch, then it's being driven by this external generator. Uh, with precise 0.1 hertz precision. So we supply this uh, magnetic field detector with the unit uh, one word of caution with regard to mounting this assembly with the arm. Uh, make sure that you mount it with the proper clamp that we provide, very strong. Not this a cheap plastic one that often comes with such uh, arms. This is uh, just asking for catastrophe. This has got to be strongly mounted on a firm top, not the plastic that we have here. And another feature is inside the uh, 
the shaft of the lamp fixture we want to put a piece of metal so that it won't bend the, 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 the uh, pole won't bend now we have an output pulse here if we're in the internal mode That's again now with the internal oscillator. Every time the flux capacitor is fully charged, a neon light comes on. There's a fan here to cool the electronics. Another fan in the treatment head to keep the coil cool because it gets quite we're driving the coil here, one coil, as to the maximum that any coil can tolerate. So the one question you might ask is how about in magnetic intensity? Well that's simply controlled by being closer or further away. That, that's uh, the easiest way of changing the intensity of the magnetic field. So, and then you would apply it to whatever part of the brain or organ because many organs, internal organs, respond well to magnetic pulses. So thank you.